Alright guys, welcome back to the second binder video here, my trading binder 2 basically. And last time I showed you my ultimate rare trading and selling binder and this time, yeah, there won't be that many ultimate rares in this binder, I guess. We also have some TCG stuff, as you can see, we have uh, a Dark Magician Girl here, unlimited, but very, very clean copy, near mint minus. And um, also here, yeah, here's an ultimate rare, we have a German Black Rose Dragon here, Schwarzer Rosendrache, unlimited copy. This is how the unlimited German ultimate rare looks like. And we have some uh, tin promos, the CTO3 promos. Uh, I have a German, yeah, you can't see it that well. We have a German, yeah, Winged Dragon of Ra from LED6 here. LED7, sorry. Winged Dragon of Ra here. I have for sale. And all these cards basically are also on my card market, so um, you can check it out there as well. Um, this is for TCG though. Um, we will quickly get to the OCG here as well. And yeah, this is basically just some leftover cards I had from my TCG collection. I'm slowly but steadily, yeah, removing from my main collection because I'm full focusing on the OCG. And yeah, this is just the leftovers here. Maybe one more card I want to show you is this uh, Ancient Gear Golem here. Unlimited German copy. It is Neumann Plus, so it is very, very clean. I might grade it in the future if it doesn't sell, but we will see about that. And yeah, this is basically all I had for you guys for TCG. And now we are moving on with some yeah, pretty affordable OCG stuff, I would say. And you might not be able to see all the set numbers. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's 4K, so you will. But if you have any questions, um, just let me know. Maybe send me a screenshot on Instagram, circle it, circle the card. And I will be able to give you some more information here. This one here is a very recommended card um, to pick up here. This is the Harpy's Feather Duster in the 20th Anniversary Secret Rare. So we have the, the red uh, text here for the card name. And the quarter century basically has the gold name, right? And we have the 20th emblem here, which I prefer. Uh, it just looks more symmetric, right? Yeah, a very recommended and very cheap 20th Anniversary Secret Rare. Maybe to start your collection or to say that you have at least one of these. And yeah, let's move on with some more awesome stuff here. This is basically, yeah, somewhat of a promo page here, as you can see. These are all V-Jump promos. And yeah, obviously the Maji Maji Magician Guard, uh, we don't have any TCG yet. Um, will we ever get it? I don't know, right? It's It's been some uh, crazy time since this was released in the OCG, but we still didn't get it in the TCG. So you might maybe want to pick it up from the OCG side, right? Really cool card here, really beautiful. Okay, next up guys, um, we have Exodias. Let's do it like this maybe, then you can have a better look. And yeah, these Exodias, um, yeah, right now this one here for example is the very first Exodia print we ever had. This is the, yeah, I would like to say Gen 1 Exodia. You see it doesn't have the Eye of Anubis here and it also has the big or the small text box with the big attack and defense yeah, area and these are basically uh, cards from the volume boxes so the very first Yu-Gi-Oh boxes in the OCG and this is how it looks like and this is how the prices are so excellent plus here for this Exodia set this is the whole set for 225 and here on the right side I do even have a near mint minus Exodia and uh, yeah, these old cards, volume cards, are very different, uh, yeah, or very difficult to grade um, because uh, usually the tendency of these, uh, of the conditions, are way worse than the cards from the second generation in OCG. So Neiman Minus is pretty much as good as it gets here. Um, this is, for example, an yeah, this is for example an example for a uh, Gen 2 uh, Exodia. This is the PG, so the Phantom God Exodia. And you can see this is basically a secret rare. Don't know how well you can see it, guys, but um, yeah, a whole secret rare, uh, uncensored Exodia here in the OCG. And this is already second generation because we have the Eye of Anubis now. So these are a little bit easier to get in good condition. So this is the reason why I have a Neomint uh, set here. And here on the right side, I have a Neomint minus set of the second generation Exodia. All right, then we have one more uh, Exodia here. Uh, this time the condition is excellent. Plus again, the secret rare version of the Exodia. 
And on the right side we have the full uh, Starlight Rare Exodia. It's the Prismatic Secret Rare and the OCG, but I know it's very confusing because we are using the same terms in the TCG for something else than in the OCG. So I will say Starlight Rare right now for you guys, but this is basically a not Starlight Rare in the OCG. If you would ask a Japanese collector, this is Prismatic Secret Rare. Okay. Yeah, and the price is also very affordable, I would say, compared to the Starlight Rare we have in the TCG. So, um, yeah, very recommended pickup, guys, if you like the Bling Bling Exodia. All right, next up, uh, we have the Death Tables. So, uh, in the OCG, we don't have the final table. We have the Death Table, which is way more cool, guys. <laughs> and um, these are all rares, by the way. Um, e, A, T, H are all rares, and the D here... The D is an ultra rare as you can see so unfortunately only one holo part but yeah better than no holo part uh, I could say as well and yeah the whole set you can get from the Labyrinth of Nightmare and uh, yeah Nierman said we'll set you back 50 bucks if you buy it from me at least. Alright next up we are moving on to the very old section here these are all yeah volume or gen 1 cards as you can see we don't have any eye of Anubis on this whole page here. And yeah, first of all, we have the Holy Elf from the Volume 2 here. Let's maybe check the condition of this card here. And as you can see, uh, the conditions are pretty much, yeah, pretty good, I would say. Not that many scratches. This card is very notorious for scratches because of the huge hollow foil. Um, here on the side, you can see uh, this little silvering here. And this is basically a very typical thing for the Gen 1 cards. Um, it's not damage. It's also, yeah, it's more like a factory issue because um, yeah, just uh, how they printed the cards, the holofoil is just looking through the borders, right? So it's not really a scratch, there is, uh, the whole card is still there, it's just the holofoil you can see here. So therefore this is also not considered damage and I'm pretty sure, not, uh, I'm pretty sure even PSA is not considering this as damage because I have seen cards with yeah, pretty much uh, plenty silver ring still getting PSA 10 and this is also the same for ARS. And we have here the first, yeah, first set of the Gate Guardian parts from the Volume 5. Um, I'm selling this as a whole set for 119. And there's also some cheaper cards, as you can see. This, for example, is the Shine Castle here. I'm not sure if you can see it at the very bottom here. It's not the Tomb World, it's the Shine Castle. Um, yeah, seven bucks if you want to pick that up from me. Um, let me maybe zoom out a little bit so you can see a little better. Should have done it from the beginning, I guess, but yeah, better late than never. Um, here on the right side, we have some pretty big hitters here. We have the uh, Stagio Dice uh, version of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And here we have the regular version. The Stagio Dice is, I think it's the second printing, but it's more rare. So um, some people prefer the more rare version. And you can see the color scheme is also different, right? Sorry, I switched the positions, but uh, the Stagio Dice version is more saturated, as you can see. And uh, the regular version, the first print here, is a little lighter in color. And I think both look really damn cool. And yeah, I'm curious what uh, copy you like more. Uh, maybe you can let me know in the comment section to get some interaction with you guys going. Um, but if I had to decide, I think I might uh, I might like the light blue one more, the first printing. But yeah, you can decide for yourself. Um, both of these are very awesome cards. And by the way, guys, um, I'm going to open a, a full deck. I think I have the Stagio Dice version here um, in Germany. So um, I will fly to Japan tomorrow again and I will be in Japan until yeah, pretty much the end of the year. But if we hit, um, yeah, let's say 2K subscribers by the end of the year, I will be opening this old deck here for Christmas basically. And at this point, I mean, I can even show you. So I have these two versions here. It's quite interesting actually, because here on the left here, this is the Stagio Dice. Also the box looks a little different, but it's the other way around, right? Because this is not as saturated as this one. And this is basically um, the first printing. This is the second printing, the more rare one. And since this is already uh, pretty much yeah, ripped here, I decided I'm going to open this at some point. And yeah, why not do it for the 2K special? It's a very expensive deck um, at this point, but yeah, I would just like to open and have it for my collection. 
and yeah we will open this one for 2k so if you're not subscribed definitely consider subscribing to my channel of course only if you enjoy the content all right guys and yeah on the bottom here we have the flame swordsman here in the alternative artwork and this card is very very special because have you already seen or realized what is wrong with this card i mean it's not wrong but yeah it's a super rare foiling basically or ultra rare foiling whatever you want to call it but uh, the lettering here is silver like a secret rare and these are called ultra secrets and the limited edition one cards um, also have this ultra secret and there is only these uh, 10 cards which have this rarity so it's a very special card and this is also a, a promo card from a book from the starter book and I also have one for sale this is the starter book basically and there was a promo here at the back it was yeah probably in here um, I didn't open this it I bought it like this but uh, this is the starter book and yeah there's a lot of cool artworks and rules here in this book this is basically the very first guide we ever had and this is the promo for that and yeah also um, i'm selling this so if you're interested you can look at my google drive link in the description box and you can just have a look at my inventory there all right let's continue with the next page now and here you can see we are continuing the trend we have old cards here uh, Game Boy promo volume card volume card limited edition i can maybe show you this one quickly because now you will see the same thing here with this yamado rang uh, again, the lettering is yeah, secret rare and we have a hollow foil and yeah, you know these from the McDonald's packs and we had a special pack uh, Which is very expensive even though there's always the same cards here But uh, yeah, these limited edition cards. I will do a video on this I made one way back when I was still doing my videos in German, I guess um, But there is one video on the channel uh, where I covered these limited edition uh, cards, but I will definitely do one again and this Mirror Force, guys, by the way, is also a very cheap card. I don't know why it is so cheap, but it is also from Volume 7, I think. So it's a very, very old Secret Rare, one of the first printings of this card and very affordable. So if you like Mirror Force, if it's nostalgic to you, you can definitely pick this up. All right, next up, guys, a really quick comparison between, uh, between these two Barrel Dragons right here. As you can see, the foiling is different. Um, here on the left one, we have a regular, yeah, secret rare copy with the, yeah, regular left, uh, left down to top right corner secret rare foiling, and this one here is prismatic. And I'm, I'm really not sure how to price these. Um, in Strictly Sealed's video, he said these are very rare, but I, yeah, I found this, uh, yeah, I was able to find these, and uh, they weren't that rare. I mean, they are rarer than uh, this one, obviously therefore the price is higher but uh, I was able to find a couple here and there maybe I was just lucky but the one I didn't find that easily was the reverse secret rare of this I don't have one for sale unfortunately right now but um, yeah if any of you know more about these let me know and yeah now we are getting to the creme de la creme um, of the secret rares from the Japanese OCG because look at the prices guys I mean these are still not super super cheap but these cards are t more than 20 years old at this point look at this Jinzo here for example let me take this one out here it's the same condition near mint and yeah first of all the main difference here is that we have prismatic secret rares is how you guys call it in the TCG and these cards are 20 years plus old very very clean and the booster boxes are basically extinct are very expensive so nobody would open these but these are very affordable i would say in the tcg for nearman jinzo even an unlim from 2002 or 2003 you are paying at least double for the same card if not even more same goes of course for the chaos emperor dragon here um 42 bucks for the cleanest copy i have here so uh yeah really really affordable cool old vintage japanese secret rares if you want to pick them up uh, here we have a Time Wizard Secret Rare. I think we don't have one in the TCG as well. And this one is from the Japanese Metal Raiders. ME is the Japanese Metal Raiders here. And also we have a Dark Paladin here from Champion of Black Magic, one of my favorite sets. And in that set you were able to get uh, the Secret Rare Dark Paladin and you were also able to get the Ultimate Rare of this card, obviously. 
All right, there's more cool secret rares. I can't talk about all of these because the video would be way too long, but we have a Spell of Mask, uh, Masked Hellraiser here. We have a Legend of Blue Eyes, Celtic Guardian here, guys. Also really cool card here. Secret rare printing of the Celtic Guardian. Not even, not just secret, vintage secret, right? That's what is important. Uh, we have a Phantom Gods, a second printing of the Red IC and Ultra Rare. We have some Toon Worlds. These are all old cards, guys. These are more than 20 years old. And yeah, just have a look at the prices. These are very affordable. So if you want to collect vintage cards, guys, you can basically just go to the OCG and buy yourself some bangers for the money uh, you would basically spend on the TCG very counterpart uh, where you would basically be only able to get one card and in the tcg uh, in the in the ocg you would be able to pick up multiple ones right okay um yeah what else is there to say i mean the card speaks for themselves um <laughs> there's basically so much i could say but um yeah for example these uh summon skulls here these are from booster 3 also a very old set it's from a gacha machine prices are super okay i would say for what it is uh, the holy elves here phantom god again the same set as the red eyes we had just here and yeah basically super res of, of this card here compared to volume one um, we had in the last video maybe or maybe it was the same video but um, yeah the prices are very different i mean for a neiman plus volume one a holy elf you would pay uh, more than 10 times yeah this is how much uh, the prices differ and yeah, these, as you can see, are very affordable old set uh, foils. Uh, here, for example, the, uh, what is his name? Forgot, um, the Phantom Pharaonic Guardian cover card here. Um, yeah, I will know once I turn off the camera. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you get the point, guys. Uh, you get the point, guys. Uh, these cards are old, vintage, good condition, affordable cards here. And yeah, now we are moving on to the, yeah, not so much loved rarity i don't know why people don't like these so much these are as rare as the old ultimate rares there's only one per box and for example let's check out this magician of black chaos or dark magician of chaos here in parallel rare and i i think personally these cards are very underrated and if you if you know how rare these even are i think these are very underrated and still very cheap uh, people don't like these for some reason i don't know why but um yeah parallel rare is the name for these rarities and there's so many parallel rares spirit of the pharaoh we have here in ultra parallel there's a lot of card guys gemini elf also okay um last Yu-Gi-Oh page here i have even more parallel rares and then we continue with some pokemon and yeah, I just throw these in here because I wanted uh, these uh, to have to be in a binder. But these are all on card market, so there is no price tax on these. And if you're interested in Pokemon as well, you can also check out my card market or you check out my Google Drive, uh, which is linked down below. So yeah, just check it out. And this was basically all I had for you guys today. The second binder is now done and everything else i have so much more for sale i don't know whatever you are searching you can pretty much find it in my inventory so yeah just take your time look at some stuff and if there is something i don't have in my inventory you can also um, ask me to import it for you to get it from you from japan and yeah just reach out on me via instagram i would say and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching and see you guys in a new video very very soon you are bilingual duelist ciao